before joint testing begins, an air compressor or ample water supply should be located above ground with a sufficient length of air hose capable of reaching all joints to be tested. Also, be sure that the three-way valves on the control panel are in the off position and that the test pressure and end element air regulators are turned fully counterclockwise. And always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Step 1. Once completely assembled and inside the pipe, roll the joint tester to the first joint to be tested. Step 2. Place the joint tester in its upright position so that each end element straddles the joint being tested. Step 3. Adjust the wheel assembly so there is approximately a 1 inch space between the joint tester and the pipe wall. Adjust the height of the joint tester by turning the adjustment handles on the wheel assembly. Attach the air hose to the air in connection on the control panel and turn the air compressor on. Place the end element inflation valve in the fill position and adjust the end element regulator until 80 psi reads on the end element pressure gauge. Then, place the end element three-way valve in the off position. To pressurize, place the test pressure inflation valve in the fill position. Turn the test pressure regulator until the specified test pressure is indicated on the test pressure gauge. Place the test pressure three-way valve in the off position. Monitor the test pressure gauge to determine the amount of time it takes to drop PSI. If the joint holds its pressure for the specified amount of time, it passes. If there is a loss of air pressure in excess of 1 PSI during the required test period, future repair will be necessary. Relieve the test pressure, deflate the end elements. When the end element pressure gauge reads zero, disconnect the air hose and roll the joint tester to the next joint to be tested. Thank you for choosing Airlock Joint Tester. For more information, visit ODI.com.